Good night, fellow punters. The clock on the wall is 25 past 10 on Sunday night. I hardly know what night of the week it is. That's the truth. When you're on the road and starting off on different days, once upon a time it's to start on a Monday and everything then it'd fall into place the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We would finish the tours and start the ones at middle of the week and end of the week and, and start on a Sunday. It's hard to fathom it and remember it at times. But I did tonight. I'm down here with the Langers. I'm in the River Lee Hotel on a wet night in Cork by the Lee. Got here after six o'clock, uh, about ten past. Uh, I was out of Dodge early this morning, gone at half six, up at ten to six. Um, forgot nothing this time, I don't think. I forgot nothing to do at the house. Now I'll think of something after a while, no doubt. Um, I, the, there's a limiter on the bus, so I can only get 100 kilometres uh, when you can be on the road. And no, nothing on the road. Only you, you want to get the 120 or 125, but you can't be doing it. Um, got to the Trinity City Hotel at a quarter to nine um, after getting diesel on the way in there in Chapel Lizard and met with the people, but they're only having breakfast. Um, she said to me that she had a brother that was slow, but they were all slow at the breakfast. It's 10 o'clock and we're leaving. That it, it ruins the day when you're not on the road at nine, but I can't push things. When she meant slow, uh, he's the image of Dustin Hoffman in The Rain Man. You swear it was him. Uh, he's an identical sort of character, uh, wearing a big cap, uh, probably the same vintage as well. But we made a good connection. He asked me a couple of nice questions. He was wondering about um, the flags for families. So I think he was on about the crest. So I told him that when I get to a shop in Killarney, that I know there's one that I'd explain it to him if I could. So getting on well. Um, and we went to Kilkenny just to break the journey because they wanted to go to Washford Crystal and it was too long, you know, to be over two, two and a quarter hours. So I uh, broke the journey in Kilkenny and then we went to Washford Crystal but they wanted lunch beforehand, even though they had a late breakfast, and the wolf to help stuff into them. Um, I had the roast beef, 22 euros. Uh, nearly too much on the plate. The, 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 if you had four slices, it was better than the three thick ones you gave me. But uh, I'm not complaining, it was good, and nice gravy, and the usual works. Uh, didn't have dessert. So uh, I was treated to that by the family, and uh, there are six of them. Uh, mother, son, fiance, uh, brother, sister, and her husband. They're from near Long Island, and the guy that's married to one of them is from, I think he said Bensonhurst, uh, Queens. Uh, when a chat this morning about American football and that, I never let on that I lived in America, but he was suitably impressed that I could chat about uh, baseball and uh, college football and college basketball and everything. So no doubt we'll get it going again in the morning. He rode shotgun in the front with me for a good part of the journey. Well, the first half of the journey. Um, so I've seen some of the races. I was watching the first race in uh, I Own the Ball. I was watching that race in the restaurant before they went into uh, into what do you call it? Um, Watch for Crystal. I was talking to Thomas Mannion since he was up at the race today. He, he they weren't expecting to win. Uh, he was talking to Kevin Prendergast, but they're expecting it to run well. It did run well after a few months break, and probably win a handicap, I'd say, uh, or be placed. Uh, be interested to see where they go with it next. Uh, but to think a bit of it, um, Tomas had a couple of winners, so he made money. Great to see Hurt and Hurt and Choke are winning a few pounds. Um, we had uh, Lump Sum doing the nap business for us. Uh, to sort of never in doubt, I was watching that just as I left uh, Waterford. And then I missed the four o'clock race. I only seen the video of it at 20 past six. And we finished sixth in that and they were paying five. And if you had probably cornered a bit better coming round, you might have got it. Um, I was a bit disappointed that, that that didn't get placed. Good gamble on uh, 
comfort zone. Uh, I think we backed that a couple of years ago when it won in was it Chepstow around Christmas time. Uh, Whipcracker was a slight disappointment as well, and I actually backed that each way and it finished fourth. Um, two horses to mention last night. I backed one of them. I backed caught you looking, but I forgot about Azada in driving today. It was only when I was checking the results after to see what time was running at. There had to be a race in that after the good run in the Guineas first time, and I tipped it up in the race after that. Um, and if uh, I owned the ball was running today as a bus horse, I would have stuck with that because we had it win for twice, I think, before. But uh, anyway, um, on to tomorrow. We, they're heading for a cove in the morning. They're doing a genealogy. Whatever at a quarter past eleven. So it doesn't look like we'll and they need we'll be out of the traps too early. Although I, I have to get the bus out of the way at um, eight. And uh, they want to go to Blarney. They, they want to kiss the Blarney stone. They asked me to have did I do it many times? I told them I didn't need to. Anyway, tomorrow we have a bus horse at a bad price, but I'll just we'll stick it in a double. Uh, reel her in. She reeled them in the last day. She came up from out of the clouds, and that was at a mile six. And I was saying she was would be better over a mile or two miles, two mile tomorrow. Uh, Rory the cat was in this race, so she should win it. She should beat that again. Cat imagine. takes on Catrick, forced to the far side. Reeler in behind those. Crystal Guard is next, followed by Star of Marquinhos. Bamboo Bay is not really getting there. Strike race now last. Back inside the final furlong they come. Rory the Cat to the near side. Catrick forced to the far side. These two settling down to fight it out from Crystal Guard and trying to finish Reeler in. Catrick forced on the far side. Near side. Reeler in is coming strongly between horses. Rory the Cat. They race up towards the line. That is desperate. Near side finishing off well, reeler in, far side, Catrake, four speed. It only went up one pound for that. So you'd imagine the extra two furlongs is going to be a plus. Um, there's a horse that done as a turn a couple of times with any Mato. Uh, it'll be suited by track and trip. But we got to stay with that. We're going to double it with a horse that was very impressive first time out over a mile six. Gambled on. I think it was 33s into 4 to 1 or 9 to 2. Uh, hello, neighbor. There was a bit of word around for it during the day of that day. A couple of books were telling me that they got um, texts about it when the money was on for the uh, owners. And if you look at it, the maiden over 1 6, but it tanked its way, it pulled its head of itself through the race, but it beat Harsh's. Uh, like there was an 84, a 76, an 81 and a 79 behind it. And it beat the Laird out of the 79 horse. So that's a mid-90s horse at worst, uh, I would imagine. Uh, it's in the white hat way back here. I'll just show you this and then I'll fast forward it a bit. Spain Tiding is being asked to get a little bit closer a few lengths back okay. then to Relton Ree. Star of Phoenix is feeling the pinch and then Joya Mashan, I'm flattered and self-interest. Top of the home run. Oh, the Major almost joined there by Get. The white hat. He's back in third. In fourth position, the white cap of Hello Neighbor and then Market Timing, who's under a ride. After these, wide out on the track, Soul of Spain and then Tiding as they come down the hill to the final two and a half furlongs. On the far side, double agent. Get trying to get on terms here now with a strong looking challenge as Hello Neighbour. After these, Cal Canley and then Soul of Spain. And Hello Neighbour, the debutante, has picked up smartly here to take over at the head of affairs. Over on the inside, trying to fight back our stable companions, Get and Double Agent. But it's Hello Neighbour who's out in front from Double Agent and Get as they race well inside the final furlong. Hello Neighbour, the leader here. On the far side, trying to cut back the deficit, double agent. But hello, neighbour, makes a winning debut. Hello, neighbour. I see it's in, under different col colours tomorrow. It's in that Paddy Shannon's. It is. Uh, it was Anthony O'Callaghan, I think, that had it prior to that. Bought for 57k originally. Um, the horse there, 83, 85. It's a decent race, like, but. The step back and trip shouldn't be if to go good. The only thing is if it was a doddle, but, um, that someone might have more toe. But um, you'd imagine. Well, let's see what price it is. I think it's six to four earlier. If we get evens and six to four, 
there'll be a four to one double. Thirteen to eight there in place. Even the six to four is a four to one double. Um There's a grand race at the three fifty. I had three marked down back next time. <laughs> Uh, Libra's Angel was one powdering. We backed that, which was placed for us at a big price. And uh, Rock Melody won this last year. Um, but I'm going to leave it. Uh, I've two each way at Hershey's and Roscommon. Um, Marisi Diamond is a 9-2 to two shot. And if you look at the, the race that it won in Roscommon, It was a soft to heavy, 2nd of September. It was off 70 that day. But the horse that was second to it gave it £4. Mercurial. And let's have a look at the race. Uh, where are we here? We're going to Lenaban. Right, there's Mer Mercurial and there's Maurice Diamond. I watch the distance apart here now. That got a bad start. I watch where the finish Back for home with the lead of a half length over Desert Haven being followed round the bend by Bellafina then Marisi Diamond and Lexington Dash has come under pressure for a Mercurial Monroe, back Mercurial here and Buttermere Ridge new definition is next for the by Vasco Randy Polonia and racing to the final quarter it's for Hoyne with coming I'm to challenge this one. Bellafina not too busy on. after them and third is Marisi Diamond followed then by Desert Haven who weakens Mercurial stays on late the new definition or Randy is trying to pick up ahead of Lexington Dash and then Vasco Marisi Diamond is another new leader in the race followed by Mercurial who's coming to challenge on the outside shaking off the attentions of Bellafina and Marisi Diamond from Mercurial on the stand side they're going close so Marisi Diamond driven out to account for Mercurial by half length well clear of her so was given it four pound that day and tomorrow he'll be getting six that's a ten pound swing the reason being, our kid, Dara, isn't it, uh, O'Sullivan, that rose Rosato for us last week. He's in the plate. Not a bad jockey. I like him. So with a £10 swing, there was only a bit between it, and he's in trap two. So if he gets a decent enough position, and as well as that, they sent him over the last time, over to Chester. Things didn't go right in Chester the last twice, but particularly this time. We have a look at it. We have time, haven't we? Sunday night. What else would you be at? It came about 10 wide or 15 wide. Well, there was a 15 in it. In his face as transitioning. Pokes his nose bounded head in front of the top of the straight. Now it opens up for Pitney on the extreme right. And he comes sweeping through. And Pitney now has bounded through to take over here. From transitioning. Then Serenity Dream in the light blue. Perloy out wide in the nose bound is running on strongly. Inside the furlong. Pitney. Perloy is still finishing well. Closing. Time is running out. Pitney clinging on. You're not seeing things. Pitney holds on to win from Perloy. Clear. Big horse like that hadn't a prayer of running around a saucer. Not a prayer. Big long galloping track like it was coming towards the end. It galloped the last day. Stick it up close to the pace, young so O'Sullivan, and at least get place one. He's a 10 to 1 poke. And the other one is 9 to 2. And in dates now, I'm after backing it at 10s. Um, and then we have another one in Ruskaman, 3.05. No, sorry. Back that at 8. Back this at, I back this at 10 and I do an each way double. As I said, now this has stone bruise the last few times, but there could be soft excuses for the ground just not being drying out. Since it ran in Galway. It was with Pat Murphy. And it won a mile in on soft ground of 60. 
and it's one of 57 on heavy ground so it likes cut so the ground the last few times was good I noticed so it might have had a stone bruise on account of the good ground um, it went off where does he was the money for it that day Pod race is at the three oh five, isn't it? One second now, bear with me. So the eight to one first run for Dennis Hogan. Eight to one into eleven to two in Galway. And if we look at it in Galway, it ran a, this is it here. It's in a very uncompromising position. We ever in one of them. Followed by Rocket 12, the colour Brazil is getting a shake of the Keep reins on the it. inside of Royal Pippin. Followed by, as I said, and Run Forest, Run Charlie Brown, and Gotta Catch Em All. Climbing for the home straight, and, and it's dropped it in from Run the Outside, Selective Power. In between horses is Bank Po. Gaining on the outer is the grace of Jack Thomas, followed by no, Breezy Soft and Kinda Tiny. Blue as hat. they straighten that up, and Selective Power and Robert Weirty go for home from Sir Jack Thomas, the Look challenger. Followed by Kinda Tiny, who's picking up. Drop the dip fades, followed then by Lord Raven, Breezy's off and Bang Po. Nothing between Sir Jack Thomas, Selective Power. Over the top, Kinda Tiny on the outside, Sir Jack Thomas. Sir Jack Thomas, Selective, good for Kinda Tiny. Followed in by um, Selective Power and Lord Raven. The notes well handicapped. The note has shown something at home. First run for them. The money was down in Galway. Took a few pounds to switch that market from 8s into 11 to 2 in a good class handicap. Um, it's a 10 to 1 shot there. They're paying four places. So, Shane. That's a pub in Cork, actually. Shane. I was going to go to it tonight uh, for a bit of music, but it was pissing rain, so I was going walking because I'd parked up. Anyway. Mash the bookies over and out.